Okay, so the app, step one is doing your CAD drawing in Mastercam. Step two is doing a tool path. And then step three is running it on the router. So before you start that, you need to do your wood preparation. My wood stock, because my pieces are kind of laid out lengthwise, is five inches by 24. So th this is a piece of maple. I'm going to cross cut it at 24. Then I'm going to come over to the table saw and rip it. Remembering my finished surface goes against the fence. And I'm actually just going to rip a fourth surface edge on here. I put my wood down on the tabletop. I got double sided tape underneath it to hold it down as the pieces come out. And I use a square to square it up to the table. Next thing I need to do is have four good pilot holes. I'm going to put them in the corners. Four good pilot holes. I'm going to screw it down, making sure my screws are out of the window of where it's going to run. I have a board on there, fastened down and taped. I'm going to have a pretty high jog speed to get my bit close. Bring my bit to the lower left corner. I'm going to slow that jog speed I way down. I zero all my coordinates. I bring my file in. Remember I saved it or I posted it on my flash drive. E drive under the Schwartz folder. I have another folder candy dispenser. One file candy. And I bring it in. I pre-process that. 10 minute run time. I'm going to preview it. In that preview, I could see my six pieces, and I could see my bits in the lower left corner. Okay. Uh, everything's clear and safe. I have glasses on before I start it. I'm going to keep my hand over the pause button when I run it, and I'm going to hit start. features because I have that bit zero kind of high up into the left I'm gonna get perfectly square parts that I'm cutting out right I really need to keep my finger near that pause button so I can stop it at any time any questions at all on this okay here's okay. a candy dispenser I'm gonna have to do the ground up round over here I'm not gonna do it with the CNC I'm gonna use a traditional router I'm also gonna use the chops to make that cut so here's that top lock that came out on the CNC router. Um, when I was done, I brought my base right here and routed it. I don't, on my base, I only router one side. When it's sitting flat, you don't want a router so it's an undercut. So I routed my base. And then this piece right here, I routed on both sides. The sliding piece, I routed all edges around. And then I have my other three pieces. This one right here has a 45 cut. So I'm gonna take this over to the chop saw and cut it in a 45. Fingers far from the travel of the blade, good for a hold of it. I cut it at a 45. When all my cuts are done and everything's all ready to go and router it, I go to the orbital sander. I start with a 120 grit um, orbital sander, sand all. Then I'm gonna go up to about a 160. And then I'm gonna use the finish sander with the 220 grit to get all of the marks, burn marks, all marks out. So when I'm all done sanding, I inspect it and then I'll assemble. Okay, so this is our candy dispenser. We've cut out all of our parts on the CNC router. Then I used a hand router and routered this top block both sides, the bottom block only one side, my slider on all sides. And then I went over the chop saw, made that 45 cut, went to the orbital sanders with the 120 grit sanded it down, 160 grit on the orbital, and then I used a 220 finish sander. It's going together like this. So I kind of want to dry assemble first, make sure everything's going to work. This will go kind of like that. This is going to drop in there. Top lock goes on top, and then my dowel drops in here. And then when this thing slides all the way back, these two holes should line up perfectly. Okay, so the way I'm going to assemble this is I want to make sure that when this thing pulls out, 
It lines up there, and this is a good fit. So I'm going to do th these parts first, okay? So what I want to do, the real bond is the glue. Keith, can you stop screwing around? The real bond is the glue, and the nails just hold it there until it dries. Um, this is really nice maple. You got to be somewhat careful on this glue because wherever you glue it, if you're going to oil and stain it afterwards, um, the glue, the stain's not going to stick if there's glue there. So you want enough glue for a good bond, but not too much glue um, that it pours out everywhere and you can't stain over it. So I'm going to line these up. Make sure you have glasses on. It's a nail gun. You treat a nail gun like an actual gun. You only point it at things you're gonna shoot. You never screw around with a nail gun. Two features on here, pushing it down is a safety, and then the trigger, so the trigger won't fire unless it's pushed down, okay? Fingers are never in the path uh, where you're gonna nail. I wanna line all these up. I like using a block to hold, and then I really wanna minimize the amount of nails in here. There's one. Two, if I have, if I, this is my adjustment right here on the nail gun, and that'll either set it deeper, I think. A lot of really nice key features on a nail gun, one of which is it countersinks your nails for you so you can wood fill over them so you don't have to countersink them yourself. The other is, there's an adhesive on those nails. The friction of it shooting in so fast melts that adhesive and holds the nails in there. So now I have that block built. Next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta very carefully center this. I want it to go with the grain. Make sure nothing's on here too tight. Now that's perfect. So I wanna center it in all four ways. Then I'm gonna nail that up through the bottom. This goes in, nail this on top. Once I'm all done and it's all centered and perfect, then I'm gonna pull this slider out and then glue in my peg. Then I'm gonna take my jam jar and nail just a lid of the jam jar on. This is pretty tricky. You cannot do this with the nail gun. You have to use a hand hammer and nails. And they have to have kind of big heads. So I just um, nail out on there. I actually, Use a set of needle nose pliers and then tap those nails in. And then fill this up with candy. And then put this on top. And there's your candy dispenser. Everybody good on assembly? Any questions? Okay. There it is.